This screencast video will show you how to use the group choice activity on Loop to place yourself into a group with other students for a particular learning or assessment activity. So on your Loop course page, navigate to the section where the group choice activity is contained and click the link to access it. In this particular group choice activity, I'm required to place myself in a group with one other student so that the two of us can pair up together and complete a peer review activity. Some other lecturers will use the group choice differently, but the basic mechanics are the same. In this case, I can click show group members to show me which students have already made a group choice. And I can see in this case, three students have made a group choice and they've each placed themselves in one group. The center column, members and capacity, shows me the total number available in each group, which in this case is two, and the number of choices that have already been made. So if I wish to join a group, let's say for example, I wish to join my friend Ben in pair number one, I just simply Go to the left and click the radio button next to the group name. And then I scroll down and click save my choice. And my choice has now been saved and I can return to the loop page by clicking the loop course code in the breadcrumb trail. If I was the first person to make a group choice, I might want to check back into the group choice activity after some time to see who else has made a selection. And again, by clicking show group members, I will see over time more and more students placing themselves in groups. So I know who I need to reach out to for my particular collaborative learning or collaborative assessment activity.